Hello, this is going to be an unboxing video of another cheap action camera. The first part of this video will be the unboxing uh, portion, showing you the camera menu and accessories. And the second part of this video will be video tests with this camera. So if you would just like to see videos recorded with this camera to see what kind of uh, footage is recorded with the camera, please feel free, feel free to skip to the next part of this video. The first part will just be taking the camera out of the box and as well as the accessories. So let's get started with this video. What kind of cheap action camera do we have this time? I think this might be our 17th action camera. As with many action cameras, just keep in mind that more often than not, unless you buy some sort of special bundle, you will need to separately purchase a micro SD card and I highly recommend 32 gigabytes. This one happens to be 16 gigabytes. <laughs> might look a little bit larger on camera right now, but look how small it is. A memory card, you will need a memory card to store your, your footage, your photos and videos. Um, taken and recorded with this camera. This one happens to be 16 gigabytes should um, let you record maybe an hour of footage HD um, <clears throat> Something like that <clears throat> But most if not all action cameras will accept a 32 gigabyte memory card So I would also recommend that 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes micro SD memory card More often than not a separate purchase for your camera. Otherwise, you will not be able to store your footage so I just wanted to get that out of the way. You will need a memory card for your camera and we have already purchased one separately. This was not included in this box. We're going to insert the memory card into the camera once after we've unboxed the camera. So what kind of camera do we have here? Very simple uh, design on the front. We have the Surfola SF230. Again, this is the Surfola SF230. We're going to take the camera out of the box and show you what's there, show you the menu. Uh, if there's battery, we're going to turn on the camera <clears throat> and show you what kind of settings are, are available for photos and videos, specifically video resolution, just so we can see what is this camera capable of recording. And then we're going to go outside and make some video tests, which will be the second part of this video. If you want to see what happens when we record with the camera just so you can see in your opinion do you think the quality looks good so let's get started right now the sf230 what is here what kind of specifications do we have okay right right away we can see we have resolution we have all the way up to 4k 30 frames per second 2.7k and 1080p my personal favorite setting 1080p 60 frames per second supports a micro sd memory card all the way up to 64 gigabytes i already showed we have a separately purchased 16 gigabyte card so that should work just fine so we're going to start right now sorry uh this video ends up being too long they always do for some reason i guess i just i talk too much or i'm just very slow so here's what we have oops here's what we have let me just hold this up we have the manual we have the camera and we have two batteries right here that's nice to have an extra battery here is the camera itself in the underwater housing you can see me in the background surfola again this is the sf230 and we're going to show you the accessories not really going to go over the manual but it's going to talk about the buttons on the camera and how to use the different features like uh, slow motion time lapse photos videos etc and to change certain settings um, with this camera like maybe the screen timeout <clears throat> format the memory card etc so obviously there's more included besides the camera and the two batteries so let's take a look right now and see so we got the manual I'm going to talk about the buttons probably um, uh, the accessories of course and what kind of settings and specifications we have here the camera itself currently in the underwater housing the the, there's going to be a bottom that can be attached to it, the base, so you can put it on a surface and it'll stand right up. If you want to get the camera out of the housing, just pull up at the front here and then take out the back of the camera. So here we have the camera itself. We can just take this um, little piece of plastic. Um, we have to do very... Uh, very carefully, uh, so as not to mess anything up. So I'll just do that later, take that little covering off. Here's the camera itself, the Surfola um, SF, uh, SF230. Here it is, the camera. So of course we're going to have to put in one of the batteries before we get started, but first we'll take a look at the accessories, then we're going to turn on the camera, insert the mem micro SD memory card that we have, and we're going to show you the menu, me sorry, the, 
the menu settings, including the video settings, and then we're gonna test the camera in the next portion of this video. The underwater housing will not necessarily guarantee that the camera will be waterproof underwater, but it should definitely protect your camera against some light rain and some dust and things like that. Mostly protect your camera from the elements, but again, I'm not gonna be the one to guarantee that if you submerge the camera underwater that everything is gonna be perfectly fine. So what kind of accessories do we have here in this, uh, with this camera? Very excited to see the accessories in. Labeled accessories, very convenient. Yeah, so move this camera. Okay, so far so good with the unboxing video. Okay, we have a remote control. A lot of these things, a lot of these accessories, I'm not really going to use. Um, the, they're in, the, some of these accessories are included with almost every action camera. Some of them you can, you can consider them more like fancy accessories. So. Um, I'll be right back. <clears throat> so some of these accessories we're not really going to end up using, so I'm just going to um, really quickly just uh, show show them to you, and I'm going to describe what I think it is, but for the most part, I'm not really using most of these, like the remote control. I'm just really going to be holding the camera. Um, I can see why this might be useful, though. Okay, so we have an external microphone, which would plug in to the camera, which is, is kind of interesting. I never really used one before, but there would be a a, 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 a slot for that, which would be right over, sorry. Sorry, just bear with me. I'm just trying to sit down here and make this video. Okay, ready now. There should be a, a slot where you can insert the, um, as soon as I just, oh, here we go. The external microphone. So the idea behind this accessory is that if you plug it in here, this uh, little hole right here, you should be able to get better sound quality than with the camera's built-in internal microphone. So that this is that's what this is for. Kind of cool, and it comes with a clip, so you can clip it to your shirt. So and it goes right over, right over here. I've never used one, but hopefully the idea is to give you better sound quality when that microphone is when that external microphone is plugged in. So here's your camera. Again, we're just gonna go through the accessories very, very quickly. We have, importantly, our USB cable for transferring footage uh, files from your camera to your computer, and also for charging your camera. We have some more fancy mounts and accessories. I'm not really going to use most of these, so I'm just gonna put them here so you can see what is actually included, maybe for a bike, uh, like a helmet, I don't know, um, a scooter, maybe things, things of that nature, things that you can just um, kind of connect. So, but there's quite a lot. I mean, it's a small box, but really uh, some, some extra ties. A lot to really go with your camera if you're looking to use it to, to mount it in a very specific way. All this stuff, I'm not really gonna use most of Whoa. Okay, that's <laughs> just kind of, so that was your accessory box and let's see what we have here we have a lot of stuff um a cleaning cloth for cleaning the lens i'm definitely going to use that that's very cool very nice um those are really good for cleaning your lens again as we mentioned the most important thing here maybe if we want to use the external microphone we can we can uh, check that out later which plugs into your camera but most importantly we have the batteries which are included right here so we got two two batteries which will go into our camera together with our micro SD memory card. And we have the USB cable for uh, transferring footage from your camera to your computer and for charging your camera. So here now you can see what we have here, quite a lot of accessories, most of which I will not use, but let's get started with talking about this camera itself, the device, the Serfola, um, what's it called? SF-230. So right away, we're gonna just pull this up right here so we can get to our um, area where we insert the battery. Put that there. Let's see how quickly we can do this. There we go. Now we've got the battery. Next step is to insert the memory card. So I usually take a, a thin metal object. Uh, as soon as this will actually... Okay, here we go. Sorry, it's just... Uh, okay, there we go. I usually take a thin metal object and... Um, let's see, figure out how do we... <clears throat> Which way is it going to go in? Okay, let's see if this works. You're going to hear a kind of a clicking sound. There it is. Okay, 
ready to go. We have our uh, a micro SD memory card inserted right over here. There's a microphone here. There's also a space to insert your USB cable for charging your camera. Here's the micro SD memory card. Most importantly, now that we've inserted the memory card and the battery, we are ready to get started with talking about the settings on this camera. What does this camera have to offer to us in terms of resolution, etc.? So here we have. Um, oops, make sure this is okay. Okay, we've inserted the battery and the memory card. Now we're ready to to look at the settings of the Surfola SF230. So we're going to press the power button here. We're going to see what happens. We have some battery, fortunately. We're going to go through the setup. So we're going to, this is going to be our OK button. So we're going to select English language. Um, the time we don't really have to set. It's it's fine. Um, uh, I, have a, I have a phone. I have a watch. If, if we do want to set the time, that might be useful if we have the, the time and date stamp on so we can show like when we're taking photos and making uh, videos and things like that. But for the most part, uh, I don't really keep the time and date stamp on, so uh, I'm not going to really need the... Uh... Okay, format the memory card. If you've used your micro SD memory card in another device, it might be best to format the memory card in the way that we can do that is we can just, um, it seems to be allowing us to do that as we set up the camera or there's a separate setting in this camera. We'll show you to format your card. So if the, if the memory card was used in another device, we definitely want to format the memory card. So again, we click the okay button, the up and down buttons are here, and this will be the button that we'll use to go between different modes. So once we finish setting up our camera, the memory card is formatted. Now we're ready to get started. Okay. So, oh, I might have clicked this button already, the record button. Okay. So once you have a memory card inserted, the button that will allow you to record videos is this OK button. Same with photos. You can click the OK button to take photos. <clears throat> so our default video setting you can see here is all the way up to 4K resolution at 30 frames per second. Personally, with cheaper action cameras, I don't like to use the highest video setting because the camera sometimes can't handle that and it looks not very smooth, a little bit choppy. So I'm going to show you exactly how to change the video settings. Okay, we have our screen timeout. So click here to go between your different modes. So first we have video, then we have photo all the way up to 20 megapixels, it seems. Then keep clicking this button. We can see we accidentally recorded a video. This is playback mode. And then finally, we can see our settings. So again, up and down on the left. And on the right part, you have the up and down buttons and then this button to go between different modes. But now we are on the video settings, as you can see here. So if we click the OK button, it shows what kind of resolutions we have available. I will go to 60 frames per second, 1080p resolution, my personal favorite. And image stabilization, we have an option for that. We're definitely going to test that out. A separate video. Time lapse to make it seem like everything's going very quickly. It will speed up your video. Your video file will be sped up. Recording audio. Okay, now clicking this button, we get to photo settings all the way up to 20 megapixels, resolution, other settings. We can turn off the beeping sound when we're going through the menu. Uh, we can turn that off. Um, other settings we have here. Power off, we can turn it off so it doesn't automatically uh, power off. Uh, Video, the stamp, time and date stamp, we'll turn it off so it doesn't show any dates. Uh, upside down mode, off, screensaver, we can turn it off so the, the screen doesn't time out uh, for, due, due to inactivity. And that those are really all the settings. Format your memory card if you've used it in another device. Reset to factory settings. That'll allow you to go through the setup process again. So what we're left with here is we are now ready to record videos. I've showed you just not really showed you the accessories in detail, but showed you what is included with this camera. You have the, cl the cleaning cloth, the manual, the underwater housing. You have an extra battery, which is awesome. No micro SD memory card. So again, you do need a micro SD memory card to store your files, but you do have an external microphone. If, if that's something that's interesting to you, if uh, that you'd be interested in, if you want to connect it to your camera and see, maybe that'll give you better sound quality than the camera's built in internal microphone. Otherwise I think we're all ready. So packaging design looks very nice. Just remember, uh, once we take this off, it's preferable if you don't let anything touch the lens because then it might get kind of dirty or dusty. And that's what we have the underwater housing for to really protect your camera from any dust.
This is the Serfola SF230. This has been an unboxing video. We're going to make a bunch of videos outside right now, so you can just go to the next part of this video where we're going to have some video tests waiting for you so you can see what's it like when the camera records at, for example, 1080p 60 frames per second, maybe some other video settings, but most of our tests will be with this video setting, so you can decide for yourself if you think the quality looks good and if you're interested in purchasing this product. This has been an unboxing video of the SF, the Serfola SF230 and now we are going to go outside and we are going to make some video tests with this camera. It's going to turn it off right now. So, so far very easy to use. I'm just curious what the video quality is going to be like with this cheap uh, budget friendly camera. You can sometimes find coupons on Amazon. So I did find a coupon here. Um, it might have been like 30% off, so I was like, okay, I'm uh, very interested in trying out this camera, the Surfola SF230 with image stabilization, so we're also going to test that to see how well it works. Thanks for watching this video, have a nice day, and the video tests will follow. Hello, this is a 1080p video test. 60 frames per second with the Surfola SF230 action camera. 1080p video test, 60 frames per second. Ten eighty p sixty frames per second video test with the Surfola budget friendly action camera recently purchased on Amazon. Ten eighty p video test sixty frames per second. Ten eighty P video test, sixty frames per second. Ten eighty P video test, sixty frames per second. This is a 1080p, 60 frames per second video test with the Surfola action camera that you see, see right here. Video test with the Surfola SF230 action camera. 1080p video test, 60 frames per second. Hello, this is a 1080p 60 frames per second video test with the Surfola SF230 budget friendly action camera recently purchased on Amazon. The Surfola SF230 Surfola SF action cameras. 1080p 60 frames per second video test video test how well can you hear me right now how good do you think the video quality is This is the Surfola SF230 budget friendly action camera that you see here, the Surfola SF230. This is a 1080p 60 frames per second video test without image stabilization. No image stabilization here on this video test, 1080p 60 frames per second. How well can you hear me right now? How good do you think the video quality is on this budget-friendly action camera?
1080p video test, 60 frames per second with the Surfola SF230 action camera. Hello, this is another uh, 1080p 60 frames per second video test with the Surfola SF230 action camera. 1080p 60 frames per second video test. Ten EDP sixty frames per second video test. Ten EDP video test. 60 frames per second with the Surfola SF230 action camera. Ten EDP video test, 60 frames per second. video test 60 frames per second with the Surfola SF230 action camera. Hello, this is a 2.7K video test at 30 frames per second with the Surfola budget-friendly action camera, 2.7K. 2.7K video test, 30 frames per second. The Surfola action camera, the SF230, recently purchased on Amazon. The Surfola SF230. 2.7K, 30 frames per second video test. Two point seven K video test with the Surfola SF two thirty action camera. Two point seven K video test, thirty frames per second. Two point seven K video test. 30 frames per second. Two point seven K video test at thirty frames per second with the Surfola action camera. Two point seven K video test thirty frames per second with the Surfola action camera. Two point seven K video test thirty frames per second. Two 
2.7K video test, 30 frames per second. Two point seven K video test thirty frames per second with the Surfola SF two thirty action camera. Four K video test thirty frames per second with the Surfola SF two thirty action camera. This is a four K video test at thirty frames per second. Four K video test thirty frames per second with the Surfola SF two thirty. Four K video test thirty frames per second with the Surfola SF two thirty action camera. No image stabilization on this video test. Four K video test with the Surfola SF two thirty action camera. Four K video test at thirty frames per second with the Surfola SF two thirty action camera. Four K video test thirty frames per second. Hello, this is going to be a 1080p 60 frames per second video test with the image stabilization on. Again, this is 1080p 60 frames per second with image stabilization. This is the Surfola SF230 budget friendly action camera. We're going to be walking around with this camera specifically to see how good the image stabilization feature is on this camera. And the only way to do that is to walk around I'm trying to hold the camera still image stabilization with the Surfola SF 230 action camera with good image stabilization again here's the camera here's the camera right here with good image stabilization when you hold the camera still and you walk there should be no shakiness this camera with well, a coupon was a little bit less than forty dollars, so I don't expect to see necessarily the best quality image stabilization. Um, we'll see when we play the video back on our computer, and you can also decide when you are viewing this footage. This is 1080p, 60 frames per second image stabilization. Ideally, the video should look very smooth with no shakiness. But just keep in mind that for the best image stabilization, you're really probably going to have to pay more than 40 or 50 dollars. You're looking at more of the 60, 70, 80 dollar price range to find cheap action cameras with good image stabilization. This is the the Surfola SF 230, the SF 230, which has the image stabilization feature that we are testing right now at 1080p. 60 frames per second resolution just walking around and hopefully the video will look smooth we're just going to take 
a couple of laps around this parking lot. Here we have image stabilization. Trying to hold the camera still, trying to walk around, and just seeing we have stabilized footage. This is the Surfola SF230 action camera. This is the Surfola SF230 action camera. We are testing the image stabilization right now. Ten eighty P video test, sixty frames per second with the Surfola with the Surfola action camera which has an image stabilization feature. Just uh, walking around. Just uh, trying to test out to see if this uh, feature is doing a good job of keeping the video from looking shaky. Right, see if we can Maybe cross the street, go across the street. See if we can do that. Let's let's try let's try and cross the street really quickly here. So let's do that. 